man <laughs> <laughs> because that person didn't believe in God you walked off yeah if you had to do it again would you do it do the same thing what is messed up most people kill in the name of God man I feel like Charles and White I'm through nigga <laughs> <laughs> this nigga don't believe in God Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Go ahead, babe. Because um, I know you believe in God. And um, if you had to, because I know you went on another podcast before. And <laughs> <laughs> because that person didn't believe in God, you walked off. Yeah. If you had to do it again, would you do it? Do the same thing? What is messed up? Most people kill in the name of God. Man, I feel like Charles and White. I'm through, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga don't believe in God. A million times over. Because that wasn't a thought. That wasn't something I did from a thought. That was something I did from instincts. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like somebody punch me, I'm gonna punch your head back. Mm -hmm. That was just but something that giving the shout out to Dallas. Who, who, that what? was Big D, Mogul Media. Mogul Media. But the reason Would why you ever I go back on this show, right? He said no, boss talk. <laughs> but the reason why I because we've I, we've mentioned that topic on the set before, and what is said is, what did you say about um. Well, you know, me and Big D go back and forth because I feel like I'm a I'm the type of guy that can handle those conversations. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I'm very sure of who I am and who I, I believe in. So those are things that I, I step up to the plate on because I know the reason why I feel the way I feel about the God that I serve. Correct. And him, me and him can do this all day. And to be and that light. Yeah, well, I definitely got to be that light. Uh, you got to be a light in the midst of any darkness. So Correct. if he's dark, then I would be wrong not to be that light in the midst of him. Okay, and also, I'm just going to tell you something, but at the same time, you, it's like, you can understand that, and it's a time and place for everything, though. Like, you and your woman, you can understand what she's saying, but if she said at the wrong time, you might react a certain way. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. we could talk about something, but if it's if it's that, don't put me on the spot in front of the world to okay. defend something that I grew up so passionately believing in. Correct. Cause I'm gonna react passionately. Correct. Mm -hmm. Now if it's something like that, that's like my woman do something, you know it might be disrespectful. Don't talk to me about it in front of your friends, bitch, cause I might talk to you crazy. Yeah. I ain't gonna call you no bitch, cause I've been trying to work on calling bitches <laughs> bitches. But I'm saying I might react the way that you might feel it disrespectful. But I feel disrespected. I think I think anytime you're dealing with spirituality, it's a very touchy subject. A lot of times they tell you don't bring it up uh, on the job, mm -hmm. you know? but I still do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I love God. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Right. So I can't really yeah, not man. talk about Him no matter where I'm Say at. Say that. I'm being Better. real because you might need Him no matter where you're mm -hmm. at. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so I'm always bring Him up. And if you don't talk to me about Him, I might think you're the Antichrist. I don't Come know. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to help people. I here. feel like if you don't just just let me talk, just shut the fuck up, and then, or, <laughs> or just like you ain't got to not. I mean, you ain't got to believe what I believe, but don't tell me the other shit. Yeah, and, yeah. And, or if you ain't comfortable, I stop talking about what I'm talking about. You feel me? That's, That's how real. I believe. You feel me? But because I just understand how the world is, it's it's so sensitive right now, and it's like I, I at first it bothered me, but it's like what you gonna do? Cry about it? I'm used to it, so you gotta just adapt. I got I got to mm -hmm. ask you about uh, uh, takeoff. You know, he died and got killed in in H Town. Yeah. Um, like um, out here, do you? Some say gambling. We just alleged. It. I don't know none of these folk business, but. Um, late at night, being out, you a party on I seen your Instagram. You know what I'm saying? You out there late. Yeah. Uh, you you always showing it live or your story at night. You might show it the next day, but you definitely. Of course. It's there you night. go. I know there you it's go. A party <laughs> there you go. Hey, he out there, there you go. You know what I'm saying? There you go. So, so, there you go. So 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 I mean, like like uh, how how important is it to be on your p's and q's out there, man, at night like that? Man, I feel like uh, at the end of the day, man. If you a real screen nigga, man, or you just really came from the hoods, because it's a lot of dudes that's from the hood, but they can be honorable, good look, good guys. You just mm -hmm. respect them. Like, you just know he a hood dude. You feel me? I feel like you just got to know. It's, it's certain things, though. As a baby, they can put close to a house number and say, hot, hot. In the streets, it's the same shit. It's a conscience. It's a subconscious that you don't even really got to learn. You know when you do it. Nah, you don't supposed to do that shit. Or you know when you hear it and it's like some shit you just supposed to know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some shit you just gotta know, man. Let me ask you this about checking in when you get to certain cities. Um, how do you feel about the check-in code or, or, or whatever you want to call it? I feel like if you portray yourself a certain way you need to follow the guidelines. 
If you coming out on some game bang shit, it's a chain of command. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like if you not this stay like that, if you is, then do it, do it come with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And as far as like protecting yourself as an artist, like I just always advise people like I me and Oh, and shout out, shout out to Princess Dolly, man. Princess Dolly in this the one, house. Yes, yeah, sir. This one of the new additions. That's to hard. Money, foreign money to win the collection. Princess Dolly, hottest artist coming out of Dallas in 2023. I promise you. I ain't just talking. I didn't say, see, this where they be fucking up. People saying, my black owned business. Oh, the best female rapper. I didn't say no female, none of that shit. I said the best artist in Dallas in 23. Princess Dolly, she coming man. up. I, I can't and wait. I when, when, we hear when we gonna hear some music? When, when we stop, I got you. All right, we I put need, some on the, on the on the you know what I'm saying on the wood. We put it on there. Put it behind me. I, I really like. I said I, I really like the way you 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 know you you read. So how did you even link? When did you decide that you gonna start dealing with artists? Because when you were no, last hold on, time, before you, you forget. I want to touch back on the topic that you already. Um, you want to go back? Yeah, just just for a little bit. No, you, we were talking about how careful you have to be out here in the streets Correct. and stuff like that. Correct. But. Um, when I think about PBM Rock in California, I, okay, do you actually like speak to your significant other and let her know, okay, these are the rules and regulations. You can't do this, <coughs> you can't do that. And, you know, because most of the time what I realize about street guys, they don't normally talk to street girls. Yeah, exactly. But you got to know when it's a real street guy, it's going to down there be uh, NDA. It's going to be, he going to give you a disclosure. You going to mm. know, because I know what I'm getting into. I know what I'm into. Mm -hmm. So I know what to disclose to the person I'm with, because the last thing I want is a surprise. You feel what I'm saying? That's just like, for instance, I was at the studio the other day with my artist, Dolly. Mm -hmm. It's a dude now, he was excited. He like, man, he sold a little tea. What do we chill him? What we working? He got too excited, he started recording. I don't mind you recording, but if I see you on the social media platform you recording on right then, I know you plan on posting this right now. You can, yeah, the next I thing like is that. post. I said, hey, bro, don't do that. He, he he took the video. I said, now go delete that. He deleted it. She was right there. I said, don't do that while we right here. Mm -hmm. We're not doing none of that. At the end of the day, I don't even lead the type of life where I'm having no big beef or no shootouts right. with niggas right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm but you don't ever know who want to deal with clout. Yeah, exactly, man. It's like, People get too comfortable. Mm -hmm. They get to a certain point and they're like, oh, but you can't never get too comfortable, man. Yeah, I tell people that all the time. That Some shot people... Martin Luther King, man. Mm -hmm. This motherfucker wanted peace. Yeah. Malcolm X was trying to kill you all. <laughs> Fuck them all. You hear me? By any means necessary, nigga. Malcolm X talking about I had a dream. You better wake your ass up. Because mm -hmm. these folks trying to kill you, my boy. Mm -hmm. These folks got to wake up. And, and I, I just pray protection over them. Cause they got, cause all of them ain't got sense. Yeah. That's real. 